for the first time in history, wind and solar now produce more energy than nuclear. Hello my friends and welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We have made about 1,700 videos over the past 12 months. Many of those are about the future, electric cars, new battery technology, and of course, what's happening globally when it comes to energy production. Now the world's biggest wind turbine is more than 300 meters long from one end to the other. That's not the pole. That's just the wind turbine itself. There's some incredible things happening, especially right now in the US, where wind and solar generation continue to rapidly increase every single year. For the first time ever, wind and solar produced 18% more electricity in the month of April than nuclear power plants. So it's not close, 18% more. That's a pretty big difference. And realistically, when you think about it, Many of these nuclear power plants currently in operation will be retired over the next five years, meaning that gap will grow more and more every year. Further electrical generation by clean energy, which included biomass, geothermal and hydropower, and was driven by strong solar and wind growth, accounted for 30% of total US electrical generation in the month of April, according to Sunday campaign analysis, of, new, of newly released US Energy Information Administration or EIA data. So this is really a pretty big moment in history. The US, 30% of all energy generation in April was renewable, 30%. That's a big number. I see that getting to approximately probably 70% by 2030. Why? Because solar and wind keep on coming down in price drastically. Efficiency keeps improving. I mean, for example, solar, the cost of solar pa panels has decreased by 89% over the past 20 years. That's staggering. From the period between January and April 2022, clean energy accounted for more than 25% of all electricity in the US, more than 25%. And as you can see, that number is continuing to go up. The latest issue of EIA's Electric Power Monthly Report with data through April 30, 2022, also reflects that solar, including rooftop, saw a year-over-year -year percentage change growth of 28.9%, while wind grew year-over-year -year by 24.2%. Combined solar and wind grew by 25.4% and accounted for more than one-sixth or 17% of US electrical generation, wind at 12.2%, solar at 44 The actual figures are measured in net generation, thousand megawatt hours and can be seen in a link that I'll put in the description below. Now, the crazy thing about all of this is that you guys in the US, you have it tough. You do actually. As we've been chatting about discussing the numbers on the Electric Viking Facebook group, something interesting has been pointed out by you guys in the US. You pay more than double for solar that we do here in Australia, more than double. In fact, Mostly, it's around triple the price for solar in the US versus what it is here in Australia, which is crazy. And it's for a range of reasons, including the fact that the Australian government does incentivize solar panels. But still, you guys have incentives on solar there in the US as well. So the gap is so big that no, I, I don't really understand why it's so big. And I'm going to do some research on this to try and find out what exactly is going on. Now, solar deployment here in Australia is happening at a fair bit quicker rate, percentage-wise, than it is in the US. And for good reason, it's so cheap here, it's incredibly affordable. In fact, for most people here in Australia, it's an absolute no-brainer considering the amount of sun we get here. However, one thing the US has that Australia has less of is hydropower. In the United States, hydropower increased 10% during the first four months of 2022, but wind alone provided 71% more electricity than hydropower. Wind generation is increasing massively. And when it came to fossil fuels, renewables outpace coal, and the electric says that nuclear by 26.1.3% and 37.8% respectively in the first third of 2022. So renewables are beating 
both coal and nuclear in the US this year. And it's not some sort of little fad. We're talking about over the entirety of the first four months of this year. In fact, electrical generation by coal declined by 4% compared to the same period in 2021, while nuclear dropped by 1.8%. Now, here's what Sunday Campaign's Executive Director Ken Bossong said. Notwithstanding headwinds such as the COVID pandemic, grid access problems, and disruptions in global supply chains, solar and wind remained on a roll. There is no stopping them. Moreover, by surpassing nuclear power by even greater margins, they illustrate the foolishness of trying to revive the soon-to-retire Diablo Canyon nuclear plant in California and the just-retired Palisades reactor in Michigan, rather than focusing on accelerating renewables growth, which is the smart economic thing to do. Even if you don't really care about um, pollution or global warming or whatever, which is fine, everyone has their own opinions on that, it doesn't matter. The point is, mathematically, it's so much more affordable and logical to install new solar or wind generation than it is to try and keep these old coal power plants running. I mean, for example, to give you a context of where coal is going, the five largest coal companies in the United States have all gone bankrupt within the last decade. So yeah, there's no real future for coal. The media would probably have you believe otherwise, but unfortunately the truth is politicians in both Australia and the United States and many other countries worldwide are still bankrolling coal even though it's economically unfeasible right now. Now, personally, I, for one, am really happy to see what's happening here. Solar and wind are kicking the butt of nuclear and coal. And this trend is only going to get faster and faster and faster, especially with the fact that battery energy storage is coming down, which can support the generation, right? Now, here's what happens right now. Solar gives us energy during the day. Wind gives us some energy during the day, but a lot at night because the wind actually blows harder at night than what it does during the day. And then, of course, sometimes there's not quite enough sun. We don't need sun for solar generation. We can still generate power from solar panels, even when it's not sunny, but less power. So there are times, of course, when we do need energy storage from batteries. And thanks to the cost of batteries continuing to come down, in particular lithium ion phosphate batteries, That means that the whole system of having battery storage, solar and wind complement each other is only going to start replacing these, um, you know, these old technologies, nuclear, it's old, coal, it's old, old school. Those technologies are not getting any cheaper. They're being replaced. That, my friends, is the future of this planet, renewable energy. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments section below, what are your thoughts on this? Do you have solar? Are you considering it?